Okay, so we have the user interface created. Now we need to take these uh, text fields and we need to uh, create outlets for them. And we need to take uh, buttons and create action uh, events for them so that when user clicks on register new account, we can bring up the register new account uh, user interface. So um, let's open up the left side button uh, panel with our Swift files and we will start working with the sign in uh, view controller first. Now we have user interface for this uh, page, but we do not have the Swift file. So I will click on uh, the folder user registration example and then I'll go to file new and then I'll create new file and that's going to be Kako touch class. I'll click on next and I'm looking for view controller but I will name it sign in view controller and it will be a subclass of UI view controller, that's correct. And the language is Swift. I don't need to create interface file anymore because I already have it. So I'll click on next and I'll click on create. So now we have sign in view controller. I will copy its name, select and copy it. And then I will go back to main storyboard and I'll need to associate this uh, user interface with that view controller I have just created. So I'll select this view controller by clicking on this uh, yellow button here. And then I'll click on this icon, show the identity inspector. And for the class, I will paste the name of that sign in view controller. And for the identity storyboard ID, I will also paste the same value sign in view controller. I want, um, I like it when my class name and the storyboard ID of this user interface, they are the same. Okay, so now I have this view controller and I can hide the uh, left side panel and I can hide the right side panel. I can select this view controller. I can open it in assistant editor by clicking this two circle overlapping each other. And I will have the sign in view controller, the view controller, which I have associated with the sign in page opened on the right side. So this is very important that when I select the sign in view controller, the Swift file we have created and associated with these user interfaces opened. Okay, so now let's create outlets. Now to create an outlet for this, uh, to create a connection between the user um, name text field and Swift file so that from Swift file we can refer to that text field and read value from it, we will need to select it first selecting the text field or on the left side here we have this elements uh, breakdown under the view so I can select it here as well and then I need to hold control button click drag all the way to my Swift file and then drop it here now we'll, it will pop up this window connection type it can be either action for example uh, outlet collection or outlet because we are working with text field we need to have outlet and then we need to give it a name because this is a user name text field I will call it username text field just like this and click on connect so now we have a connection between the user text field and the Swift file and if I refer to this variable username uh, text field, I can read values from it. I can read the text that user types in. Okay, now I'm going to create, select the user password as well and hold control button on my keyboard, click, drag and paste it to my Swift file. And then I will also give it a name, user password text field. Okay, so I have created connections between my uh, text fields and now I have a couple of more buttons. Similar way, I select a button and I'll hold control, click, drag and I'll paste it at the bottom of my Swift file. It can go up, it can go down. I like it to have at the bottom 
So I drop it here, but this time connection type is no longer outlet, it needs to be action. So I select action and then I need to give it a name. I will give this function a name, sign in button tapped. Okay, and then I click on connect. Now what will happen when user taps on this sign in button, the sign in button tap function will be called. And I can print something here, um, sorry, I can print something here like uh, sign in button tap. We will see how it works now. And I'll create one more outlet for this uh, register new account button. So again, select the button, control click drag and drop it uh, below the sign in button tap function here. I'll change the connection type to connection action and I'll call it register new account button top. It can be any name you give it. It can be register new account button topped or it can be register account button topped as long as it is a unique function name in this Swift file. So I'll click on connect and um, Xcode create creates a new function for me which is associated with this register new button and uh, I will print also something to make sure to, to, to see that it works print register account button tapped okay so now I can test it I can run this uh, application and I can click on sign in button and I can click on register new account button to see how it works. Oops, I have uh, an error print. Okay, so uh, let me stop my simulator and then go to this project. I will run it with um, iPhone 6 and I'll click on run button to run this example. Okay, build is successful and because this view controller is initial view controller, my application should launch with this view first. Okay, so this is my sign-in page. I will go to output here and I'll click on delete button to clear it out to see that it's empty. Now I will switch to Xcode simulator. And I can click on sign in button and see we have the sign in button top output and I click on register, register account button top. I can click multiple times to see that it works. But at this time, uh, we don't read text. Uh, we don't read values from text fields yet. We just creating connections and outlets and I'll do so for register new account now as well. And for the home button before we will actually write the Swift code to uh, read these details and send the HTTP request.